This is Twit. Okay, so Facebook will be moving more users to end-to-end -end encryption. And this puzzled me at first. Meta has said that it plans to migrate more of its messenger users over to the end-to-end -end encrypted, you know, E to E E version of Facebook Messenger over the next several months. The company says users will be chosen at random and users will be notified when their private conversations will be upgraded to the end-to-end -end encrypted version. In addition, the company has also expanded the features of its end-to-end -end encrypted version, which now also supports some of the features that the original Messenger app, such as, you know, had, such as link previews, chat themes, user active status, and support for the Android floating bubble mode. Uh, but as I was putting this together, I was thinking, wait, how can you move some users to end-to-end -to -end encryption and not everybody at once. <laughs> if you have if you have end to end encryption, end to, then end, but not then, to that end. <laughs> that, yeah, to that both ends must be end to end capable, right? Yeah. Anyway, so Meta wrote over the next few months, more people will continue to see some of their chats gradually being upgraded with an extra layer of protection provided by end to end encryption. We will notify people in these individual chat threads as they are upgraded. We know people will have questions about how we select and upgrade individual threads, so we wanted to make clear that this is a random process. <laughs> in other words, <laughs> we don't know either. Okay. So, oh, God. So that, that, I know, what a mess. They so, promised this, by the way, years ago. I don't know yeah. what's so hard about all this. Yeah. Well, let, let's see. Let's see. iMessage, Telegram, Signal, Threema. I mean, like e Instagram. Everybody else has done it, right? Except Meta and and with Facebook messengers. Anyway, so that that explanation clarified this a bit. So apparently, all messenger users already have end-to-end -end encryption messenger apps. They just cannot themselves enable its use for all of their communications. Meta instead is going to do that for them randomly for some reason. Well, I, th uh, this is not actually uh, that unusual because you, when you roll out something like this, you know it's going to break yes. people's stuff. Yes. So you do yes. it in a gradual fashion so that you can manage the breakage and maybe, right. and maybe sure, nip I'm, some of it in the bud if you discover a problem. Right, I'm sure that that's exactly uh, what their 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 plan is. They they want to be able to back out of it yeah. should they need to. Everybody so. does these staged rollouts now. Nothing's rolled yeah. out all at once. Yeah. Um, well, and look at our browsers th th that are in mul multiple stages of pre-release channel. You know, right. Un 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 under use by those who don't mind being on the bleeding edge, and and re reporting problems. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands-On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that, too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today. <laughs> <laughs>